Here's a 5x10 enclosed cargo trailer made exclusively for Axle Motorsports by Carry On Trailer Corp. It's got a 48 inch front nose guard, 3 inch square tube frame. It's got a straight axle, 15 inch wheels, 36 inch side door, side flow vents one big side door. This door is about 49 inches wide by 4 foot 7 inches tall. 3 quarter inch plywood floor, 3 eighths on the wall kind of see the side flow vents. It's only five foot inside of here, so not the ideal trailer to walk in, unless you were uh, five foot tall or less. Pretty light and easy to tow. Be a pretty cool trailer to carry some small stuff inside or even make into a camping trailer. Small little tool trailer or just something to carry your, your toys around. See the bar lock here? We use a 030 skin. You notice 16 on center. So even our smaller trailers are, are built just as well as the larger trailers next to them. A lot of manufacturers, and I really can't blame it on the manufacturers, they just build it per spec. Um, we'll really cheapen these things out and go 24 on center with a thinner gauge aluminum skin or they'll go to a 13 inch or a 14 inch wheel. We still have the same axle, same axle on this guy as is on this guy here. It's a 3,500 pound extra axle. If you see here, it's a three leaf spring, straight axle. And if you notice, it's got a slight little bend there on that axle. Uh, that's the camber on it, designed to straighten it out when, or keep the wheel straight once it's got a little load on it. So that's by design if you've ever wondered what that was. Painting it underneath here, you can kind of see the construction angle irons here. It's like a C channel there, square tube frame here. Full 36 inch side door, even on our small trailers here. Little door plunger to hold it here, no little dog bone holder. Notice here. pushes in, holds that door open. We use a little plastic dog bone here for the back, which I don't like, but you could modify that by going to a metal one or just putting a clamp tie down, just hook it onto the fender. Even our smaller trailers here give you plenty of room on the tongue. One's got about 32 inches and it looks like about 21 inches to the jack. Overall height on this one here is about six foot eight. Uh, maybe a little bit taller depending on how you, you hook it up. But as it sits here, it's six foot eight. Easily go into a eight foot tall garage door and even into a seven foot. So there you have it. This is our 5x10 enclosed carry-on cargo trailer. Lots of cool upgrades. Again, not the prettiest trailer in the world. As far as finish and stuff goes, but they sure know how to build their trailers. Um, and for our specs here, there you go. All LED lights. Not a bad trailer, really can't beat it for the price either. Five by 10 enclosed carry-on cargo trailer. Also what's kind of nice, you can't really see, but I'm about six foot three, six foot four. I'm able to walk into this or up to this door, not hit my head as I stick my head inside. I did not duck at all. 
and I can almost reach to the other end. So it's not a horrible trailer. Um, if you're a big person and want to walk in here and you just needed to get something to carry your stuff. Another common question is the size. The 5x10 is external dimensions, so just subtract about 3 inches for the side to give you the width inside, so about 4 foot 8 inches or so, 4 foot 6 inches. And it's not quite 10 to here. I'll go ahead and measure it now. So that looks like nine foot nine inches. Again, this is our five by ten enclosed carry-on cargo trailer. If you have any questions, take a look at our website, axlemotorsports.com. Some cool FAQs under support and a product comparison chart on the homepage.